Should I learn my partner because, he chooses his own mother over his partner and child? I'm in need of some advice and I want you guys to be honest with me as much as possible. This is going to be long so just a heads up. So my boyfriend and I met back in 2020 and we've been dating for about 3 years. When I first met him I was living with my mom and he was living with his. Well I couldn't stand living with my mom anymore so I moved in with my boyfriend and his parents. I was working at the time and so was he. Time goes around and all of a sudden I found out I was pregnant back in 2021 of February. Once the time came around for the baby I was thrilled my in-laws loved my baby and allowed us to live with them. Don't get me wrong I was very happy they let me in with arms wide open. However my Phil was working and Mill was not. So fast forward when I have my baby and my labor breaks I go to the hospital to have my baby. First off I had told everyone including, my own mother I wanted no one up at the hospital. It wasn't anything I just wanted the moment for my partner and I. So I had, had an emergency C-section and prior to the labor I had been in the hospital many times due to a kidney infection. It wasn't an easy labor and I just didn't want anyone up at the hospital. Well time comes around while I'm in the hospital repairing and my mill just helps herself up to the hospital. I was so pissed off I told my boyfriend to send her home because, I wanted no one to come up to the hospital. My boyfriend responds with well she's just excited, and not the fact that she had disobeyed my orders. So this is where it started. So time rolls around and I go home with the baby, still living with in-laws, and my mill is constantly trying to take over and take my baby from me. I shut myself away in the room the best I can but my Phil and Mill were always constantly barging in and helping themselves. Keep in mind I was still repairing from a C-section and had had also a seizure after the childbirth due to the immense stress I was under. I was trying very hard to parent but the entire time my Mill was always undermining my parenting and still is. My boyfriend once again said it was her just trying to help even though I didn't want help and never asked for it. She always overstepped. Maternity leave about ends and I have to go back to work. I had severe postpartum and I didn't want to leave my baby fearing she wouldn't know me. And my mill had watched her while I was at work which I was okay with. Keep in mind just had a c-section and still repairing. Stitch is still healing and had had a seizure. Time rolls around and my Phil, who was only working, my mill wasn't decided to quit his job leaving my boyfriend and me to take care of them. I was a shift at the time at CVS making not very good money and my boyfriend is a welder so he made good money however, I got fed up with their crap and gave him the ultimatum that either we find a house, because he wanted a house, or I was going to take my child and find a place of my own. I was tired of my mill constantly overstepping me and constantly just barging into our room to overstep my parenting. So finally my boyfriend listens to me and gets a piece of crap house. My boyfriend has always wanted to buy a fixer upper and I supported him through it however, I did not know this house needed so much work. The foundation needs fixed. The floors are sagging and when I did find out before we bought it I didn't care I just wanted out so we moved in at about July 2022. At this time I had pushed back my hours so I could spend more time with my baby however, postpartum took over and I decided to quit my job so I could be full time with my baby. Once I quit my job, I had spent so much time with my baby I had wanted a break just like every other parent had wanted and decided to let my mill watch my baby. So one night I go out with my partner and we leave my child with my mill. Once we drive back after being harassed by mill when we were going to be home we decided to stop at Kroger for some beer once we got home. When we got to the Kroger parking lot my mill wasn't with my baby and she was getting high in the parking lot with a couple of her friends leaving my baby at home with my Phil. Now I should also mention my partner is severely insecure and when living with my mill and Phil my partner always accused me of cheating with my Phil when in reality he was the only one who even seemed to care about how I felt when it came to the afterbirth so we talked a lot and nothing never happened. In fact my Phil has cheated on my mill with men before. So once this happened I told myself my mill was never to watch my child again. 
My partner throws a fit about this and says it was one time and I put my foot in the ground and said never again. I don't trust men in general besides my partner and my brother. Fast forward to now and my partner works a lot to support us however, I constantly am cooking, cleaning, dealing with baby, grocery shopping, door dashing for money since he was wasting money on cigarettes, and beer. And he does nothing at home. I made the mistake of confiding in his mom and telling her he needs to help around the house more and she replies by saying well he's depressed and you need to quit harping on him, insinuating I am the reason he's depressed when I ask him to do stuff when all he does is sleep on his days off and not help. If he helps at all it's very rarely and now I refuse to go over there because, I'm tired of the way my mill is treating me. When I'm the only one doing shit trying to save money to fix up our stupid house he bought to fix up, when he hasn't even done anything to the house either because the foundation is shot and we need a lot of money to fix it. I've asked my partner to sell the house multiple times and he refuses because, he says he can't get another loan and wants to make profit on this house when everything needs redone. So my question is, am I the bad guy? I've been refusing to bring my child over because of how he's been treating me and how my mill has been treating me. I can't even go home or there there and I'm just sick of it. I'm debating on leaving him and I need advice on what to do because, I can't take it anymore. But I won't allow my mill and partner to get custody of my child I just won't and I'm not working right now so I just need some advice. Comment. Your so has shown you that he doesn't have your back. If you're unmarried, and hopefully your name isn't on the house, you should just leave for somewhere that isn't so taxing on your mental health. Go see a lawyer in secret to find out what to expect in terms of custody, visitation, and child support if you leave. She better because depending on the state her mill could have grounds for visitation based on them living with them when the baby was born. Sometimes if grandparents can prove they were supporting and taking care of the child it establishes a relationship that she's not going to be able to back away from now. Especially since she's not married to the father of the baby. Better look at your state's laws as soon as possible. You both sound as bad as each other to be honest, so I'd say Ash. You pressured your BF into buying a house to get your baby away from his mom. When he buys a house, you quit your job. When you quit your job, you're overwhelmed by the baby, so ask his mom to watch your baby. Your BF's the sole provider in the family, but you're moaning about having to do the housework and child care. That sort of comes with being a Sam. Your BF sounds like a mommy's boy who needs to cut the cord. You need to get a job if you're going to leave him, and still be in charge of child care and housework, and be aware that whether you like it or not, he may get 50 50th's custody. You can't prevent him from seeing his child. I'm going to be honest. Although I have empathy this whole situation sounds like a nightmare. I think you're in a rough situation because of some poor decisions. You didn't have a home yet and you had a baby. Not the greatest move. You should never look to move in with a guy's parents. He's not even attempting to move out on his own which tells me he's still codependent and maybe not ready to leave the nest. That was the first warning sign. I don't know. This guy kind of sounds like a loser. So. I guess I would just focus on what my baby needs and to hell with him and his weird family. I would get what assistance I could through the government. Try and get myself on a better career path and plan for a better future with or without him. That's what I would do. But again this is Imo. Take it or leave it. Next story too. Need advice on Asian toxic mill. I am in need of advice or want to know if anyone has experienced what I have experienced with my mill reason for Asian in the title, if you are from a Southeast Asian family, you may be aware of the cultural differences and commonality amongst some, not all, Asian families. The mother is the queen of the household, husband is easygoing slash doesn't put up a fight, children are subjected to very high standards and are constantly compared to others. If you are not a doctor, lawyer, engineer, you will not be successful in life. That is the bottom line. Amongst other expectations. Always talking about money about how others have so much money, etc. 
when she gets mad, she creates such a hostile environment at home, bickering, saying mean things, not cooking, constantly going below belt, and someone always has to crawl back to her and apologize. Otherwise it will be miserable. I have been with my husband for a long time but didn't get married until a few years ago. For the longest time, my mill and I had a decent relationship but when we got married and I got pregnant it drastically changed. She became very opinionated and constantly picked me apart when my husband got our new home together. She would constantly make backhanded comments and have even said mean things behind my back, not doing enough after having a baby, neglecting my dog and not taking care of my husband. When she visits, she doesn't care to see the baby much but says she's here to take care of her son, my husband. I ask my husband if he had told her I haven't been doing anything, cooking and cleaning, and he says he has not and is just saying that to feel needed. Over the years, I've ignored this behavior. He does not say anything to correct her behavior nor has anyone in their family hence why I believe she acts this way. When I've taken her out for her birthday she complained the whole time and made comments about why our friend didn't let us tour the place for free, they own the location. She recently started giving my husband the silent treatment because he finally said something and she ignored all of us. She has not seen her grandson for three months, they live an hour away, but she openly shows off her luxury car to another relative nearby and even goes to another relative's party ten minutes away. Even with my husband and her resolving the issue she has not made any efforts with my son. In the past, I would let this go but since I have had my son I have developed different feelings and refuse to put up with her shit anymore. If she doesn't put the effort into seeing my son, I refuse to try and have a relationship with her. The doctor has diagnosed her with a mental issue and has provided solutions but she refuses to take them. I have been patient with her because of this but will not allow my son to be subjected to this. Thoughts? Am I not being patient enough? Or being too sensitive? Anyone have a similar situation and resolved it slash it got better? Comment. Drop the rope. Why do you want her back in your life when you finally have peace? Her coming back means bringing back the toxicity that your husband finally grew a spine to remove. Definitely do not say or do anything with her until she can see what she is doing wrong, the silent treatment, etc., and until she can stop with the toxic behavior, I would not let her around your son. He doesn't need to learn or deal with her behavior. She doesn't rule you or DH or low. You are your own immediate family and you all decide how you allow people to treat you. I say good riddance and I think it's great that your husband finally took up for you. Why do you even care if she doesn't see you or your son? Count your blessings and hope she stays away from you as long as possible. Is your mill Indian by chance? I have no personal experience but have read many stories here about very difficult relationships with Indian mills due to cultural differences. Why would you be upset she's giving your family the silent treatment? You're better off doing things that encourage her bad behavior when it takes the form of the silent treatment. Don't reach out to her, live your happy mill free life, and be very slow to respond when she opts to lift your punishment. In fact before reply you and DH should have a talk about if your life is better with her or without her in it. If it's without you don't respond and you ignore all the people she sends to lobby on her behalf by saying it's between your family and her and no one else needs to be involved. You need to take her not putting in any effort as the gift it is. You don't want to be around her, and if she continues the way she is, she won't be around. Take the win, and go live your best life.